Hello, my name is Jasmine Delavu. I'm an instructor with the Bemis School of Art. Today, I'm gonna to show you a quick tutorial on how to do some printmaking with things in your very own fridge. I love playing with materials that are easy and are at home to add some texture to collage or painting. Today, we're printing with fruit. Now, what's cool about this is I had some stuff that was turning in the fridge anyway, and I thought I could put it to good use. Fruits and vegetables already have amazing, gorgeous texture to them that are really fun to play with, especially when you can pull that texture and layer it on top of other things. So today, we're printing with oranges. You can see here that, though this isn't quite dry, there's plenty of texture that's coming through on this line. You can make these gorgeous shapes and colors, you can layer them. You can do this also with lemons, limes, cut plantains, or bananas. You just wanna make sure that there's enough time for the fruit itself to dry, so you're not getting all that moisture coming out and getting your paper soaking wet. So first, we're gonna take our fruit, some acrylic paint. I can also do this with printmaking ink or block printing ink. Um, this is just cheap and easy and you can get it at Walmart. I grabbed a paintbrush, filled it up with a little bit of black paint, lightly dabbed it across the fruit, just enough to coat it. You don't wanna saturate it and make it gloppy and gooey. Lightly brushing across, just like you would a block for printmaking. And then, taking it, pressing it against the paper like we would a stamp, and making sure you're getting full coverage with it. You want to make sure you're pressing really hard, but you don't want to push all the way through the paper. Peel it off. And voila, a beautiful little print. Now think about ways that you can use other things in your home to layer with it. We have so much that's accessible to us right now, even though we're far apart or we're out of our studios or out of the classroom. It's time to get creative and start thinking a little bit about the different things you can find around the house to play with. Have some fun, and we'll see you soon.